9-11 in retrospect, almost 25 years later, a quarter century later, almost, yeah, yeah. it's 22 years now, 9-11 looks like in retrospect that it was the end of the American Republic. The American Republic. Yeah. What does that mean? So there's this idea of the deep state. There's this idea of, you know, this global cabal, the, you know, the Illuminati, the, you know, the, 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 the new world, or whatever you want to call it, right? Maybe it's been around. You can make an argument that that the illusion should have been over when they when they killed Kennedy. You can make the argument that the illusion should have been over when they lied to get us into Vietnam. You can make the argument that the illusion should have been over when the when the uh, the original World Economic Forum, when uh, Woodrow Wilson formed the League of Nations, and before that. When his election, the League of Nations is the original economic forum. Yeah, it's the original UN and the original World Economic Forum. The League of Nations. Woodrow Wilson, a, what would be considered a communist or, you know, an ultra progressive today, massive racist, huge elitist. Yeah, I heard that too yeah, about um, Woodrow, a, a Jersey guy. And the only reason he won is because Teddy Roosevelt split the split the Republican Party by, by breaking off into the the bull moose. To anyway, so the Fed, the Federal Reserve was brought in in 1913, Woodrow Wilson, the creature Jekyll Island. That was the beginning of the end for the American middle class. Okay. All right. Before that, now people want to say, you know, when these global interests started getting into America, it was the day the revolution ended. Alexander Hamilton wanted a central bank and a global empire from the second this country was founded. The, the founders are... Alexander Hamilton did? Alexander Hamilton, yeah, which is crazy. And they that made he's them, like, they, that they made the play after? Yeah. He wanted a what? He wanted a central bank. Okay. He wanted an American monarchy. He wanted an aristocratic system where monarchy everybody Monarchy means up. like king and queens That's and right, shit? yeah. He wanted, and, uh, and he wanted a global empire. He okay. wanted us to be the new Britain at the time. Okay. Um, and all the founders were like, no, we just left Britain. Yeah, we wanted something different. The fuck are you doing? What the Why do they, and what's the play about? Why do they celebrate him so much? He's uh, celebrating the play, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He's like they. He's like the protagonist. They've the re, they've rebranded him as like the founding father of the marginalized communities of the black community or whatever because he was from the Bahamas, um, but he was a British arist aristocrat. Oh, so who had taken over the Bahamas? <laughs> Pretty much. Pretty much, but they claim like he probably had some black ancestry. There's like this. Re yeah, they probably fucking raped him. Yeah. The, the the British took over the Bahamas, and they, that was one of their colonies. Alexander Hamilton was not a man of the people. Anybody who's ever read the Federalist Papers would know how fucking ridiculous this is. My theory on it is this is more global left wing communist propaganda bullshit. Not that, just some idiot made a play. No, it's not some idiot made a play. It's some idiot got financing from somebody to make the play. Where does he get the financing from? Oh, you're going to make a play about the only big government central bank founding father. A guy the founding fathers like so much. Did they, they like cheer? Somebody shot him in the face. Did they cheer about the uh, the central bank in the play? Did you see Hamilton? I didn't see Hamilton. No, no me neither. No, I didn't see um, but who shot him in the face? Does anybody know? Who knows? Who um, knows? It, know. it was. Wait, wait. Actually, Golly. I do. I do. Uh, oh, Aaron no. Burr. That's right. Aaron Berg. Our very own Gas Digital's Aaron Berg. Is it Burr? Yeah, it's Burr. Aaron Berg. B U R R. Yeah, who was the uh, vice president? Who was the vice president at the time? And they did a they did a uh, what's the fuck's it called? A duel. A duel. Yep. They they stood back. They walked a, a certain amount of paces, mm -hmm. and then uh, when when did someone say go? And you turn around and you you mostly, it's like hey, we'll show well, we got balls and we'll I'll shoot up in the tree. Correct. And we'll miss each other on purpose. Correct. We don't need to die over this. We realize now, but we we gotta be we have pride and whatever. Yes. Is it this so, guy? So I'll I'll uh, Aaron Burr, yeah. But then, so, but New York. but this motherfucker shot him right in the face. Chest, yeah. I I, I was being hyperbolic. Shot uh, him in the chest. Um, you lied to me. But yes, you're right. And Hamilton basically said that. Hamilton was like the original woke progressive of his time. He said he was what? Like, this. Is a barbaric display. If I'm, if I must prove my manhood to you, I will prove my manhood. But I will not shoot at you, you know. And Burr's like, you should shoot at me. <laughs> I, 
<laughs> and Burr was going to relax. Right. He was like, this is going to be a cinch. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you sure? I, he closed one eye and <laughs> took his time. And <laughs> I, I refuse to deal in this barbarism. <laughs> he was like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you sure about that? You sure, sure about, about that? that? A cinch, huh? Yeah. A cinch. I love that word. Yeah, yeah a cinch. So, all that is to say, what does that right. mean with 9 11 and today? It's very obvious there's always been outside pressures trying to take our government from us from day one. And there's different places where you can say this is where it started, but I am fairly confident that where it ended was 9 11. Okay. Because 9 11 gave us the Patriot Act. Mm. 9 11 brought in what is was referred to as the new American century and basically took the sovereignty from us, the citizens, put it in control of our political elites who are now putting it in control of the global elites. And I understand what this sounds like to people. This sounds like a conspiracy theory, but let me tell you something about conspiracy theories, okay? It is 100% true that those towers hit, that, that those, those planes hit those towers. I saw it. Right. I went to the funerals of my father's friends and colleagues. Same. I spent the next day at family members' houses of people who passed. On a personal note, my dad was out of work. He had been working two jobs his whole life. Uh, and he got laid off in the end of 2000. His company got bought by a, a, a larger bank, and he took a, a buyout. And he had been out of work for a little over a year, and he was really getting stressed, really, really. Like it Itching was, to get back in the yeah, workforce. Yeah, and it was, it was very tough on our family. And he, uh, he had finally gotten a call back on, for a second interview. And he didn't. He did the interview, and then he found out he didn't get the job, and that was September 9th. And September 11th, had he gotten that job, he would have been 110 floors up on Tower Two. Brother, I've heard so many crazy stories of people who were almost involved in that. Yeah. There's so many like almosts out there. Well, we grew up in an area that was. Uh, that makes sense because I mean, we, we, yeah, we, we grew up in an 30 area. 30 minutes from the city. With that, and that, the entire financial district of Wall Street supported the entire yeah so people, you know, New yeah, York people's families area. all yeah they live in jersey but work in the city yeah and my, yeah. my dad worked on on wall street back then and and um yeah so we Holy he knew a smokes. lot of guys i didn't know that i didn't know yeah. that story about yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Cra crazy crazy ah, crazy 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 um crazy crazy very 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 god we're lucky but there were people that were unlucky so seth mcfarland was supposed to be on the plane that's never, right we never would have had family guy yeah 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 and he got hung over he was too drunk. He was too he drunk to mi and missed his flight. It was so, an accident. He's probably pissed. So, for the longest time, I not only rejected, I got mad at any conspiracy theorist about 9 11. I was like, how fucking dare you? How dare you besmirch the, the, these, the, you know, the dead? How dare you stand on these people's graves to make your political point? Michael Moore makes loose change. Right. You know, and, and over time, you come to realize it's the opposite. It's not standing on their graves. It's speaking for them because they can't speak for themselves anymore. These people, something happened. I don't know what it is. Oh, I understand what you're saying about standing on their graves, but really they're spe the guys making those and talking about it are speaking up for the people who are killed. Yeah, in my brain, in my young, immature mind, I heard people talking about 9-11 conspiracy theories, and somehow I internalized that as like, somehow the people didn't die, or or, or like, you know, or they're, they're trying to like, they're trying to profit off of, the, of this tragedy. Right, right, right. Well, it's the opposite. These people, something happened. Something Something fishy. Happened that they're not telling the truth about. Sure. And there's just no denying at this point that they're not telling 3000 people died on 9/11. Right. And and the day before uh Donald Rumsfeld was talking about how there was like 3 or 4 billion dollars missing. Trillion? 3 2.3 trillion. 2.3 trillion dollars are missing in an accounting error. Donald Rumsfeld. And then the next day planes hit and those accounting the accounting rooms destroyed. 
along with Tower 7 and the two buildings. I'm not even, you know what? I'm not even going to get to the specifics of it. I'm going to let people do their own research. You're right. But I don't want to get into the specifics of it because there's things that I don't know. I, but here is the one thing I do know. Don't know. When people, that's the thing. When people talk about conspiracy theorists, you're a conspiracy theorist. Do you know why there's conspiracy theories? Because there's conspiracies? Because they've never, yes, because they've never told us the truth. They've never told us the truth. We're left with nothing but speculation. Mm-hmm. They've, they, they're they so obviously lying. A man who's running for president now, Vivek Ooh. Ramswamy, okay. says the 9-11 commission is full of shit. Man running for president. And what's wild about that, CNN, liberal CNN, calls him a crazy conspiracy theorist. Don't you think by questioning, this is an actual quote, by questioning the official narrative, this is a supposed journalist saying this. It's <laughs> your journalist job. to question the fucking narrative. It's your job. That's hilarious. Don't That's you hilarious. think. These people are so bought and sold. Don't you think by questioning the official That's narrative. That's so fucking funny. You're like, giving well, you, power. You lose your, journalist, your journalism card right That's there. That's it. That's it. It's like, wait, then you obviously don't know what being a journalist no. is. You're a propagandist. You're just a, exactly a propagandist. You're, 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 you're bought a, and sold. You're, yeah. You're running That's PR wild. for the machine, man. That's why. Yeah. What is her name? Caitlin Collins or whatever That's her name is. Why. Yeah. Don't you think this gives power to dangerous conspiracy theories? And I'm sitting here because I'm, I'm older than you guys with my mind fucking blown. Questioning the official narrative of 9 11 was a left wing badge of honor. When right, I was because, a kid, yeah, because it was uh, the the Republicans did it. The there was protests right, cause, cause on Bush was in the that's White House. Right. right, but not just Bush. This is what's crazy. Cheney, Cheney, Bill Crystal, the 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 guy who put together the the NGO, the the PAC, the lobby, the New American Century. Right. All of these rich men north of Richmond, Team Ooh. Bush. Now what team are they on? Uh, Biden. Biden, yeah. You know, Biden has on multiple occasions bragged about he wrote the Patriot Act. He gets mad he doesn't get credit for the Patriot Act. For people that don't know what the Patriot Act, real quick, Mick. Yeah, Mick, that's you, what I was going to say. D- Christian, what does the Patriot Act mean to you? How old are you, Christian? Oh, no. Um, Just 26. If it means nothing to you, it's okay. This, this is kind of my point. Do you even know what the Patriot Act is? Do you know what it means? Uh, fuck, I know what it is. I just can't think no, of it. It's no, it's not a test, bro. It's, it's a, you know... A, uh, Nat, does the Patriot Act mean anything to you? Yeah, a little bit. What What does the Patriot Act mean to you? It's, is it not basically that it's, I don't know what the exact wording is, but it is something to do with, uh, reduced, like, freedom of privacy in yeah. an attempt at safety? Sure. Something yes. like that? That's, that's, that's a fair yes. summation. The, but to be as blunt and as honest as we can be, the Patriot Act is a nullification of the Bill of Rights. Yes. That's when you're that's when they took your rights away. They took your rights away. And then they lied about doing it, which was even more insane. And Edward Snowden and Julian Assange caught them. Yep. Now here is where this great American experiment ended, and this is how we know it ended. The people that took our rights away are in power still to this day. They're more powerful than they've ever been. Edward Snowden is in Russia in exile. Julian Assange is dying in prison. The people that exposed the corruption have been punished. The people that implemented the corruption are in power. Since that day, since that day, 4.5 million people, I've sent these to you, pull them up if you can, Christian. 4.5 million people have died due to our foreign policy decisions. The war in Iraq, the war in Afghanistan, Lebanon, Syria, Libya. 4.5 million people have died. We, as Americans, have spent 14, 15 trillion dollars to kill those people. What did we get for this new American empire? Well, the dollar, the dollar, one dollar that you had in 2001 is worth 57 cents today. Wow. You are half as wealthy. 
Then that, not only did they destroy the dollar, the dollar ain't shit, and it's taxed to no end. Not only did they destroy the dollar, Mick, but they actually physically took the wealth. The Great Recession in 2008 took away, some estimates say 25%, some estimates say as much as 40% of all savings from the middle class. Mm. They stole a generation's wealth. They stole my father's generation, your father's generation's wealth, and they took our ability to earn wealth away from us. They made the dollar worth less, and they made everything more expensive at the same time. Mm -hmm. Now you lead into 2030. You will own nothing and be happy. They did that. They did that. They killed 4.5 million people. We spent $15 trillion and didn't fix a fucking pothole in this country. Who got that money? Where'd that money go? Think about COVID. We spent $9 trillion in the last three years. What in our country is better? Yeah. Where is this money going? We are killing people abroad. And what do they do? If you question the official narrative, they call you a dangerous conspiracy theorist. They silence you. They silence you for questioning. So what do we need? We need a, a change in regime? My we man. Need a new... A new uh... We need to get the people who are involved in all this out. We need to be bold. We need to be bold, and they're making it hard because they're giving out sentences. They're, they're showing you what is what. They're showing you what's what. They're handing out sentences of 22 years to people who weren't even at January 6th. We had Scott Farrell on this show who got two and a half years of his life stolen from him. Meanwhile, their protesters can go out, form an entire new country, Chaz Chop, in Seattle, where people are murdered and raped. They can loot, they can steal, huh? and nothing happens to them. I gotta look into this Chaz Chop thing. Nothing happens to them. I don't know nothing about this. Chaz Chop, they, they, they broke off, a break-off country. It lasted like four days. Oh, so it's done now. Yeah. But they didn't get charged with sedition. <laughs> they didn't get charged with sedition. It was a summer of love. So... All right, right. So, right, so right, it's way so the, worse than it was in 9/11 because now there's the that was the end of the Amer sparked the end of the American Republic. Now we've been controlled by these elites who are making everything worse. That's right. And eventually want to make it even worse, worse in 2030. I just want to be I just want to be concise. It's very very important that people understand the same people that were in charge during 9/11 because people think it was a Republican thing. Right. They're still in charge now. Who's them? Who's they? Dick Cheney. There's a Democrats are sending around this this viral video of Dick Cheney talking about you can't elect Donald Trump. Dick Cheney's now on the side of the Democrats. Bill Kristol is on the side of the Democrats. Biden is bragging about the fact that he authored the Patriot Act. We have actual governors saying the Constitution doesn't matter. They're saying, I can suspend the First Amendment, Second Amendment. They already did it with COVID. Now they're doing it because of gun violence. I don't know if you saw that in Albuquerque. She just suspended the First Amendment and Second Amendment, said, I, I, this is, there, there's an epidemic of gun violence. You don't have Second Amendment rights. 